Good measurement data of test charts are the basis of good ICC printer profiles. Unfortunately, very often less than optimum data has to be used. To avoid this, I will show you in this video tutorial how to optimize your measurement data prior to profile creation using ColorEnd from ColorLogic. ColorEnd not only analyzes and shows you if your data is suitable, it even corrects errors and smooths it. Under View, there are multiple ways to visualize your measurement data. In this example, I am using the readings from a digital printer. Already in the two-dimensional view of the LIB values, you can spot errors and unsmooth gradations. Using the 3D tool to rotate the measurements, the TVI tab to display the spiky tone value increase curves, and the spider web shows that the data needs to be optimized. The spider web of good data typically shows smooth and harmonic lines between the patches, which is obviously not the case with this example. Which tools to use to optimize the data the report function analyzes for you. Choose the check quality checkbox. The two other options allow to compare the measurement data with the reference profile and the best matching profile from the entire list of your ICC profiles. The report will be saved as a comprehensive PDF file. The report opens up automatically and provides the same views that we have seen in the software. In addition, it provides information about an optical brightener found in the paper, and we get sample colors and their LIB and data E values in comparison to the reference profile and the best matching profile. Using the layer functionality in PDF, you can even display single or all tone value increase curves. Especially of interest is the quality evaluation, as it provides you the necessary information which tools to apply on your data. In this example, the correction and smoothing tools are required. The highest error patches are marked with a red frame. With the layers, you can compare the original with the corrected and smooth data and switch on and off the red frames. Now we want to apply the tools to optimize the measurement data. A specific sequence in the working method is recommended when preparing measurement data. You should first clean up redundant color patches, then correct faulty measurement values and finally smooth the measurement data. The smoothing tool provides a slider allowing you to choose either a weak or a strong smoothing. In this case I'm using the strongest settings. All of the steps that have been taken from loading files via selecting tools to saving files are saved and displayed in the history area. You can return to a previous step at any time by selecting the corresponding entry in history. When saving, the data is updated according to the active history step, which you can verify in the naming of the file tool. If you're going back to the original data, you can use the automatic button instead of applying all the single tools manually. The automatic feature applies the necessary tools in the correct order. Let's have a look at the optimized data. All windows to display measurement data, which is active under view, are updated according to the active history step. Using the entries in the drop-down list, you can always display each step individually. Doing so, you will notice the great improvements after correction and smoothing. With such optimized measurement data, you will get a much better ICC printer profile. But there are more useful features in ColorEnd. If you are having measurement data from a random test chart, it is hard to spot gradations or problematic areas. Using the Rescale tool, you can transform your test chart into a visual layout, for example in ECI 2002, keeping your spectral data intact. The relative spectral power distribution curve of each patch will be displayed by just double-clicking a patch. In this example, it is obvious that a strong optical brightener is used in the paper, which can cause problems during proofing and printing. In order to compensate for the effects of the optical brightener, the brightener tool shall be used. Using the slider, you can apply a weak or a strong correction depending on the viewing situation of your viewing booth. Color comparison allows to compare two datasets, for example, before and after compensation of the optical brightener. Use the Mark From and Mark To sliders to highlight the areas of interest with the user-definable Delta E or Delta E 2000 color variants. 
As expected, the differences will be most viewable in the highlight areas. Another important tool is averaging multiple datasets. A range of useful averaging functions is available using the averaging tool. When choosing the auto option, the tool intelligently applies the function best suitable for each of the patches to be averaged. As a result, you will receive an average dataset that you can use for further processing in color end or to be saved and used in an external profiling application. There's much more to color end than this little film can show. Last but not least, I would like to mention that Colorend is not only optimized for the color logic profiling solution Copra, but will improve on any profiling solution out there, be it ICC-based or proprietary.